Ugh, wearing homeware chic. Focus on me. Hi. <laughs> Hi there, uh, this is, I feel like, the best way to do an update of my life uh, because the way that my life has gone has directly in fact affected the way that I use my bullet journal and how I have looked at my life because I have been able, unable to do certain things um, related to journaling. So yeah, let's just get straight into it, honestly. You guys are going to watch me do one particular spread, um, and then we'll, go we'll do a flip through. You guys are going to watch me do, you guys are going to watch me make my journal spreads for the month of July, and then we are going, oof, that was... You guys, you guys are going to watch me make my journal spreads for the month of July and then we'll do a flip through of my second bullet journal setup for 2022 as well as my setup for July. So I quit my job in August of last year and I was unemployed for about three months. <laughs> um, at the start of November, I began my new job where I am currently working. I live about an hour and a half away from this job and I do an 11 hour night shift. So on the days that I do work, I am usually not um, blessed to have the amount of time to myself that I once had on my old job. Before I would get out latest 5 p.m. and then I would usually go to sleep around 10 p.m. sometimes later if I just wasn't tired. So immediately after work I would work out and film a video, edit a video, um, shop online, watch YouTube, whatever. Uh, now, however, I don't really have that much time to spend by myself at home. Um, I don't have the time that I used to to work out after work. Uh, I don't really have the time to edit or see people um, on the days that I work either. So a lot of the things that I do are on my days off. And in that time after I quit my last job, a lot of things, a lot of for unforeseen, um, unpredictable kind of events have happened, such as I was unemployed for a lot longer than I thought I would be unemployed for. Um, and so my finances aren't exactly where I would like them to be right now. My work schedule has also changed twice in the past two to three months that I've been working. Um, so for about half the time that I was employed in my new position or in my new job, I was working mainly during the week and had from Thursday to Friday or Saturday off and now my days off are from Sunday to Tuesday. So it's a very big difference because most people don't really hang out on Sundays and if they do, I'm usually very tired after work so I kind of take Sundays as a complete like shutdown type of day. Um, if I have the energy then I will express that but most of the time the days that I have energy and the days that people actually want to go out and do things are very mismatched so for the most part I don't expect to be able to do anything especially socializing on Sundays 
and then everyone is usually working on Monday and Tuesday. Um, I have errands that I may or may not need to run. So my life is very not um, as predictable as it once was, which I now feel like that predictability was a little bit of a blessing because I was better able to um, schedule not only hobbies, but you know, things that are pertaining to my health. Yeah, uh, nowadays though, I even find it tiring to set out time to simply journal, which is why I am creating a journal spread um, as well as making my entire July spreads all at once. Before, I would do each weekly spread as the week started. Now, I feel as though because of how unpredictable things are, but also because of how tired I tend to get, making all of these spreads in advance is the better way to go. I also understand now that making an entire weekly spread doesn't make the most sense for me because on the days that I'm working, I'm not doing other things. Um, I don't have appointments. I'm not setting up um, events. I'm not meeting people or doing tasks unless it is imperative that I do them on those specific days. And on the days that I am resting, I am trying my best to work out now because I can't really do that on the days that I do work. So you guys are going to see later how I have adapted my weekly spreads to suit the way that life is going now. <laughs> um, but journaling has been something that has been very good for my mental health. Um, when I first started bullet journaling, at the beginning of last year. I think bullet journaling has, specifically the journaling part of bullet journaling has been very effective because it keeps me in the now. It makes me feel as though I don't have to put so much pressure on myself um, for the future, which I don't know about, you know? I haven't been journaling because on my days that I do work, I am just too tired and then on the days that I don't work I haven't been very motivated to um, but I haven't been very motivated to do anything at all for that matter and I'm trying to make a schedule for myself of things that I want to do every week um, to make my off days feel more meaningful and also help me to be a happier person because for the past few months on my days off i've really just been sleeping or eating um more recently working out has added to the list but that doesn't make me feel fulfilled it doesn't make me feel like i'm doing what i could do to make myself happy and that doesn't sit right with me <laughs> so I'm trying to add journaling to the things that I do every week um, which is why I've set up this spread such that I am forcing myself to journal every Sunday whether it be immediately after work or after my very well needed nap <laughs> post work um, I will be journaling every Sunday and hopefully this will also remind me to kind of take accountability for things that I said, say that I'm going to do for the week because it will force me to look at my bullet journal. I feel like I have not been forced to actually look at my bullet journal even though I have been making spreads. Um, I haven't necessarily been filling them out or, you know, habit tracking as closely as I used to. I haven't been very um, attentive in the appointments that I have, the events that I have. I actually yesterday 
didn't end up going to an appointment that I made because I completely forgot the time even though I had written it down even though I I knew the date I forgot the time because I simply didn't look at my bullet journal <laughs> and so I'm hoping that forcing myself to look at this more frequently um, in a more meaningful way especially because looking at a book for me is kind of like my eyes can gla glaze over at any moment <laughs> even if it's a even if it's my bullet journal um, but if I am forced to be an active participant in the event of looking at my bullet journal then I think I might actually um, start to use it as the productive tool that it was for me from the beginning um, but yeah that's kind of a small update slash like why I am doing things a little bit differently and let's just get into the final flip through Sugar sweet, you got what I need. Sipping on the potion. 